Hi gang, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to something a little bit new today. Um, I have got reviews coming out my ear rolls at the moment. I'm in the process of putting them together, but I thought we'd do something a little bit different today because I was having a little browse on the Lego Ideas website and I see a few interesting things that have basically reached the next stage. Now, if you don't know what Lego Ideas is, gang, it's basically a website dedicated to people like myself and other builders who like to put sets together and you can submit them to Lego and they will consider making them into sets if they get enough support uh, during a 18 month period. I'm pretty sure it's 18 months. That could have changed, it could be a bit different. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really cool system that LEGO kind of operate, and there's some really, really cool sets that people put forward to be built. I think a really good example uh, of this in sort of recent history is the Tabby Cat that's gonna be released soon. That was a LEGO Ideas that was submitted, went all the way through the process, LEGO picked it up. Um, it was originally a Siamese cat, but LEGO, being Lego will change the ideas slightly should they want to. Now, if they do get 10,000 votes, then they go to the next stage. And I've noticed that there are a few sets that have reached that during the course of May. And I thought, why not, why we've got a bit of downtime here in the Lego Lab, take a look at those sets. So let's jump in and do that. So gang, these are the sets that have achieved support um, over the time that they were given. Um, they've all basically achieved that during the month of April slash May is what I've been reading essentially. And these are some very, very cool sets. It does have to be said. And I just thought we'd take a very quick look at uh, these sets so that for people that don't know, this is kind of how Lego go about um, getting some of their ideas, essentially, especially the Lego ideas. Um, so yeah, it's just a really, really cool system and a great way to really keep people involved and the fans involved. So the first one we're gonna take a look at is that of the Artists Cafe, the University House. Um, I've taken a look at all these already. They look pretty cool, it does have to be said. Um, if you wanna support any of the people, by the way, that are putting these uh, builds together and submitting these, just go to this website, it's, um, I believe it's ideas.lego.com. You can um, become uh, you know, a member of it. You just sign up, it's all free. And then you can leave your comments, you can leave your feedback, and then your support essentially goes to all the ones that are your favorite. If they reach 10,000 votes, then they will be submitted to the next stage. When they go to the next stage, that doesn't mean they're guaranteed that Lego will build that set. Um, it is just that Lego will pick that idea up and then they will take it from there. What will happen as well is that some of the ideas that are submitted will be slightly changed. Dungeon Dragons is a really good example of this. That was a Lego ideas that was submitted, but the final form was very different to the um, idea that was originally submitted. A lot of this is playability. That is one big thing I've noticed that Lego do when it comes to a lot of these sets and changing it. Some of them barely change, but some of them have some big changes. But anyway, the Artist Cafe, the University House, this is a really, really cool looking modular set, it does have to be said. Um, it comes in many different parts. As you can see, the Artist Cafe is at the bottom. The laboratory is second level, third level is the dormitory, and then at the top is the observatory. It will come with a bunch of minifigs, this. This is really, really cool, it does have to be said. This is gonna fit in with those city builds, modular city builds, uh, fantastically. Um, there's some really, really cool images of it as well. I love the way it's all put together and the colors that this uh, that this builder has used is, is really cool as well. Um, but yeah, this is just an exceptional build. It does have to be said, doesn't it? Um, just, I think what, what some people are able to achieve is unbelievable. I've only just recently got into mock building and it's hard to come up with ideas and know what pieces to use and how to put them together. Uh, so when I see things like this with the, with the level of detail that some people are able to go to is, it's next to nothing basically, it's just incredible. And they have ticked every single box uh, in this one uh, by the looks of things. The person that created this is um, 2PPL. So yeah, he's really cool. Maybe keep an eye out for that person in future because I'm sure with uh, skills like this, they're gonna be submitting a lot more ideas to the ideas website. The next one we're gonna take a look at is the loneliness of the Voyager, NASA's Voyager. 
Mission. This is by Q Hackler 036 and this is keeping in with that space theme that seems to be really popular with Lego at the moment. Obviously they've got their new kind of space range haven't they? Um, but there just seems to be a lot of real cool space stuff and this one could fit in perfectly, would really really fit the brief. Um, about the farthest mermaid object from Earth and you can have this on your desk. Apparently this is the scale of this is pretty cool as well. Um, but yeah, looking at the images, it's a really, really cool looking piece. All of the planets all um, represented. And uh, yeah, it is, it's just amazing what people are able to do. It really, really is. This here, well, not this is, um, is to do with. You can see a lot of, uh, the record player can be detached. Okay, so there's a record player on there as well. There's loads and loads of information. I'm not going to read through all of it, but uh, this basically, if you want some backstory on what Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are, um, the golden record and all this sort of stuff, all of it is here. It's amazing the amount of like effort that people are going to to submit these things so that Lego will consider picking them up. But yeah, another cool looking piece. Third one is Impressions Sunrise, a Monet in Lego. This is by Hanshui Moyu, I hope I'm saying that name correctly. Um, and yeah, um, again, this kind of keeps in with that Lego art feel that obviously we are seeing a lot. We've got the Mona Lisa um, due for release in June, I believe, which I'm sure many uh, enthusiasts will be picking up. And this is kind of in keeping with that uh, impression sunrise, very famous piece of art. And uh, this has now been made um, by someone and uh, will, will could potentially become uh, a Lego item that you can own. Following Lego's Starry Night, The Scream, The Dream, uh, I've designed the Impression Sunrise, my third creation as well as the fourth model from the world famous painting series. So there, there you go. This, this person's clearly creating a lot of cool stuff uh, for Lego to consider. Uh, it's a pro approximately 1500 pieces. So yeah, it's a pretty sizable build does have to be said and i'm sure price tag would follow <laughs> once lego get their hands on it but a cool piece nonetheless very very cool looking I, I i always i'm astounded when people recreate art now this is the one that's probably my personal favorite from all of this and i'll, I'll let you know why in a moment but it's the humpback wow breach um obviously it's a humpback wow breaching out of the water and i just think this is so so cool i'm a big wildlife buff i love wildlife um you know often go on long walks listening to birds sing and stuff i just am a big fan and uh this by two by four is sensational the reason i like it is it's kind of following suit with the insects that that were made um not long ago and the hummingbird and they come on those dark black plates and if you're looking at this you can kind of see where they've gone with it and i just love the details you look at it from different angles and you get a completely different perspective on you know exactly what's happening here it's a, such a cool looking set and i'm glad this has reached 10,000 votes i really could see this being something that lego would create i think lego would probably clean that base up a little i don't think they'd go with that base i think they'd find another way of doing it but the rest of it it really doesn't need changing all that much it's a really well put together thing you can see all the information here should you wish to visit and uh have a little read of this yourself but um you know it was it's just really cool i love this one of the most challenging parts of the build was figuring out a way to have the wow tilted in two planes but i think i found a stable way to do it according to studio io that's uh, one of the pieces of software you can use by the way gang when you're building mocks and you and you're kind of getting into the realms of like this level of building stuff really really cool item absolutely love that one next we've got the pioneer cdj 2000 nexus multiplayer obviously if you're a dj chica chica, you know what this is and this is uh by tomaso really really cool looking item now one thing i am going to say and i haven't kind of mentioned this already but you will notice that some of these will have ips that lego would need to pick up essentially ips are branded items pioneer is a branded um like cd changer you know uh, record player whatever it is it would be a branded item and i think that that's where some of the problems can can arise with some of the ideas that are put forward um having to pick up those ips because not only does it cost lego money to kind of uh, come up with their version of uh what someone's come up with but they'd have to then go out of their way to uh, purchase and acquire the ip um 
IPs work in all different kind of realms. It works in movies like Disney owns like the Marvel IP and stuff like that. They have to keep renewing that to keep hold of the names and stuff. Um, you know, so essentially it's all about buying brands and Lego would have to look into that with this item and probably with some of the other items that we've already looked at. The Voyager, for instance, would definitely be an IP that would need to be picked up because that's a NASA owned product. Um, so yeah, it's just very interesting the, the lengths that Lego have to go as a company to be able to produce certain things. Um, but yeah, this is so, so cool looking. Um, I am a big into music, never, never DJed, but I know what stuff like this looks like. And just even the inner workings, as you can see here, the detail level that this person's gone to and the fact that certain things spin and things move. Um, it, you can see why people have voted for this item. It is very, very cool. Um, I love the way there's like certain names and songs. I would imagine I, picking up all the IPs for proper songs might be a bit much, but um, that's why we've, let, you know, we, we have the brains at Lego. They'd come up with their own songs, wouldn't they? But very, very cool. Uh, very, very cool. It's a great looking item. Uh, as you can see, there's plenty of information about it here as well. Um, and it tells you all the things that this item would be able to do. So 2,628 pieces would be a very, very hefty item, but uh, a cool set nonetheless. Now, I'm a big fan of this one as well, especially if it works the way that um, the images and the description suggests it will. It's, it's so, so cool, but it is a claw machine. So anyone that's been to any amusement park, any any fairground or anything like that, you would, would have seen these claw machines where you can pick the soft plush toys and things like that out. My daughter in particular loves them when we, when we go places like that. And someone has managed to recreate this using Lego, which is absolutely insane. And even the gifts inside are all made of Lego pieces. Now, if we get to this item here, you can see how the mechanism works. So it suggests that this will be a working item as well. And you can see all the items that go inside from minifigs to just uh, minifig accessories to small brick built things. It's really, really cool, well thought out. And there's a few color variations as well, which would actually be pretty cool if Lego would consider doing a few different colorations. But it's such a great looking item and such a brilliant idea. Once again, you can see all of the uh, information on this item is here. Um, you can see the decorations on each side have different, um, it says different things. Uh, everything's Lego built. Just an amazing, amazing idea. I'm just glad this was picked up. This is by 2A2A. What a fantastic build. Excellent work by him or her. And I've probably saved the best till last where everybody's concerned because I think this would tick a lot of boxes and make a lot of people happy. And it's Wallace and Gromit, a grand day out. This is by Vico. Um, it achieved its 10,000 it needed. It's into review. Again, it comes back to the IP thing I was talking about because they would need to pick this up, um, you know, to be able to create this. Um, but what an amazing looking item. Now, Wallace and Gromit is something I really grew up with as a youngster. I really remember it prominently in my youth. And so when I see this, I, it, I really, really liked it. I really, really liked it. And, and the images are amazing. And it isn't just a, a case of, you know, just a, a, an orange spaceship. But the detail level and all the little things they've gone to, even this on the window is, is amazing. It's excellent. Um, the little robots and, um, you know, the, the, um, the picnic uh, mat. And also, it's just so, so good. I just... I wish I had this, this level of imagination to sit there and create, to come up and create this sort of stuff. But as you can see, there's lots and lots of information here, more images. Um, it, it must take so long to come up with all of this to be able to submit an idea uh, for people to take it seriously and get it voted for. And I think that more people that are doing this and the more people that know about this can then vote for these things so that people can take a really good look. And uh, it's an amazing website full of amazing creators. And I think that if you have never taken a look, make sure you go and take a look because you never know, there could be something there you'd want to vote for that Lego could make one day.
So there you have it, gang. We're done and dusted for this video. Um, a relatively quick one. Nice, uh, nice look at some of these ideas. There's so much more on that website. Feel free to go and uh, give it a browse. I will leave the link in the description if you want to go and do so. Um, I'm definitely going to take a look and start voting for a few because there's some amazing looking items on there. And I know we've got some stuff coming out in the future and later this year that were Lego Ideas creations on this website. Uh, my friends, if you've enjoyed this video, please drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and get involved in the comments. But as I always say, until next time, you stay building good people. See you all later.